All right there, ladies and gentlemen, John Sweetpea here, bringing you a Doom Wad Let's Play. This Doom Wad is called The Hundredth Wave. This was a request made some time ago, actually, while I was doing the monochrome mapping project by the mapper known as Cypec2, or just Cypec, I think, according to this title pick. Anyway, Cypec2, for those who are unfamiliar, basically did the Ton Temple in the monochrome mapping project, which there will be a link to in the annotations to go back to that level if you want to refresh it. And basically, this is his first ever megawad that he ever made, and he wanted me to look it over. And I apologize for taking quite a few months to actually get round to doing this. But everything is finally set up and we can finally begin. And also before I start, I'd like to thank Painix Killer AOTF for making the thumbnails for this Let's Play series. I forgot to do this last time for the Dynasty Warriors Free Extreme Legend, but I won't forget this time. So, 31 levels, and it's basically a very simplistic story. The first commercial trip to Phobos was a great success. However, the second one has to be put on hold due to Hellspawn attack. Rich tourists hate waiting, so get rid of the problem ASAP, and find out more playing 100th Wave. Yeah, great story there. So this was entirely done by Cypec, although I believe there's a little bit of credit to Merchuve and Inc aka tsuq.pl for some music on particular parts of the game, but most of it is Cypex creation, so let's find out what it's all about. And according to Cypex himself, the first two levels are quite short, so I'll be covering both of those in this video. And now I should stop talking and start playing, so let's do that. As always, ultra violence. So here we go. Alright, this is map one, called Closed Season, and before I start further, I should mention if you're going to play this, make sure you run this with the D-E-H file, the D-hat file it's called, for you can have, so that you can have the level titles and some other stuff in the game. This is... <laughs> well, that's not obviously a scrolling texture, honest. <laughs> This is a pretty uh, trippy start right here, but only six enemies, so I guess he wasn't kidding about it being short. I really have no idea what to expect from this one, so anything goes. Um, okay, I guess this is like a portal. Oh, alright, it was a portal. Cool. Oh, and this is going to be done on a continuous run, by the way, because that's what the uh, author designed it for. Oh, there's an imp. Better be careful not to, um... Only six enemies, so one down, five to go. Seems like there's quite a few dead imps out there. As such, got a dead cacodemon. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Got a red door, got... Ooh, hello. It's a... It's, it's another marine. The one has passed. Oh, there's another imp. Cypec 2 also said this what was quite easy-ish, but we'll see. And we'll go over with there, so we're going outside. So kind of an interesting start here, just having a pistol to deal with the imps. Huh, nearly done already. <laughs> this will be the quickest level ever. Alright, so let's see what else is around here. Nothing in particular. Got ourselves a pit. Do we have to fall into that? Let's Oh! Okay! And that was level one! <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll have missed the secret then! <laughs> and we get an interesting looking title screen with a BFG giving several people, just kind of like the Gib title pick really, except for a BFG instead of a fist, so... Kind of a very abrupt beginning there, so let's see what happens on the second level. Cavern. Let's see if anything happens here of interest. Oh, we've escalated to eight enemies! Ooh, this is going to get more difficult. Hmm, I kind of like the fact that we haven't got, we haven't got the shotgun yet. Perhaps there's going to be a decent build-up of giving us the weapons, that's kind of cool. We've got the shotgun guy, be careful with the shotgun guy. Pistol guys first. Alright, there's another imp and another. We can grab that shotgun through the bars there in the cavern. 
Hmm. This doesn't seem that outstanding so far, aside from the trippy opening. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we can't quite grab the shotgun, and that's all the enemies killed as well, so... Ooh, hello. Secrets! Which means I get the shotgun. Awesome. So let's see what's through here. Hmm. An orange school door. And then we'll have to actually open it this time, eh? We'll see. Hmm. We'll go up here, but it doesn't seem to serve a purpose. Gets me to go this way. Alright, we got a red thing over there. Hmm. Wonder why that's the way the way it is. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's a damage floor. Don't want to find out, particularly. Alright, so I guess we'll drop into here. And. Okay. That's the end of level two. Wow. Cypek was not joking. The first two levels of this are extremely short. God. Three minutes total. I thought I could have 1%ed the other level if I'd looked around a bit more. So that was uh, levels one and two. Um, so this is portals. Uh, is this level going to be a bit longer? Eight portals. You know, I'm actually very tempted right now to do level three as well because this feels a bit too short. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do level three as well. I was actually just going to do the first two levels, but screw it. We'll do level three as well because that was way too short for me. I don't feel like stopping yet. So let's see what eight portals is all about. This reminds me also I'd better check not to miss the secret level. So we've got oh, this guy. Hmm. I'm not very impressed by this start, I have to admit, but it's only the first two levels, I guess. We'll have to see how this flushes out over the long run. So we've got some doors there. To be fair though, this was his first Mega Wad, so obviously he went on to better things. Maybe he has a zany... Oh! That was kind of interesting. <laughs> The thing lifted him to the door. And we have our first fit that will require the shotgun to kill. A little bit. Maybe we want these imps to finish. Oh, that was not a good idea. Oops. Not good idea at all. Well, that was a poor choice. I thought I could circle around for some reason. There we go. Hmm. Okay. I <laughs> kind of like that. That was pretty cool. Shows that Cypek 2 have some interesting ideas to bring to the table, at least. <laughs> the door fake. Nice. Alright, so it looks like there's a shotgun over here. I hear the sounds of something lowering or raising. It must have activated something, to say the least. So maybe we can expect a bit more of a zanier mega ward as things develop. I mean, Tan Temple itself was pretty well done sort of a puzzle themed level to the monochrome mapping project so perhaps we'll expect something similar as this develops. Okay, you've got the chain gun now, that's good. The portal there. Hmm, I sense we're gonna have to go for a couple of portals to finish this one off. Alright. Now we're outside. Some imps to deal with. Take care of them from here. We're not getting a lot of ammo and stuff so far. I guess Cypec 2 is, wants us to be careful with what we pick, I guess. Oh boy, this is going to be awkward. Demons up on high. Oh, there's actually supplies up there. Hmm. This could get very tricky. For a minute. Ow! Oof! It's horrible. I'm going to have to pick them off from here. I don't want to get bit to death up there. I don't know if you want me to use mouse looking up, but I'm going to use it. I actually did ask Cypec 2 about this, whether it was okay to use this in a software or Jay-Z Doom. Uh, you know, after Back to Saturn X. Oh, something else has been triggered. We're getting a bit of ammo here. Hmm, what has that done? So we've got three secrets as well, which is rather interesting. I don't have a good feeling about this. Going back through this portal. Hmm, something's been activated. Guess we'll go through number two. Oh, God. 
Okay, a crusher trap. Oh boy, I think it's time to save. Let's see. Hundredth way. Oh man, I don't want to die to a crusher trap. That's a little harsh. Is there actually any space in between these to survive? I can't tell. Oh, there actually is, but God, you have to make some daring runs to pull this one off. Jeez. Been a while since I've had to deal with a crusher trap <laughs> like this in Doom. I always get fear of getting crushed under them. Oh, that's actually not too difficult because I overestimated that one. Ah, blue door, of course. Hold on a second. Sorry about that brief interruption. I was just a brief conversation with my mother. So let's go through the last portal and see what happens. Oh god, you know what this reminds me of? The pit from Doom 2. Bloody lost souls and narrow chasms everywhere. What will these stupid lost souls do some infighting? Yes, fly into each other, you stupid things. Perish. Get out of here. Oh. This is going to be awkward. I'm going to have to save again. I'm sorry. Narrow pits and platforming in Doom. Not my forte. That is some, there's actually some water shotguns down there. But if there's no way back, then it's just a one-way ticket to death. I need a radiation suit to go down there, ideally. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting that we got all these puzzle -y. puzzles in the air. Uh, level so far. I guess Cypec 2 is a fan of creating miniature puzzles for players instead of just action, which is very much reflected in Tarn Temple, really. How was having a penchant for the uh, the puzzle sort of emphasis? I mean, Tarn Temple was like a... Uh, Tan Temple was like a... Uh, like more like a puzzle level rather than an action level. And I guess Cypec 2 has a penchant for doing lots of levels like that, so we could expect to be taxing our brains as well as our trigger figure fingers damn it I'm a little mystified by this though I wonder if there's a radiation suit can come back and get us oh shit we got a cacodemon no armor so before he kills him one hit no no I have to look behind me then thought he might something on the other side take that you stupid cacodemon oh hello how very convenient a radiation suit Go down here and get all this neat stuff. How do, how do we get? Mind you, how do we get back? <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. And the lift. Anything down here? Nope. Just check all these walls just in case there's something. Don't believe there is. Okay. So we did get all those supplies at the end. Well, hey, excellent. Ah. No nice. We just can exit. Come here, you stupid knight. Let me take you down. I'm actually going to be super greedy here and quickly run back and get these shotgun shells. Which seem oddly tucked in the corners. Very strange. Huh. They're almost tucked literally inside the, uh, the narrow passageway, which is kind of interesting. Right, so that was the first, probably the first proper level of the ward in question. Eight portals. What are eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. I count six. Not eight at all. Unless there's a, but I bet one of them's way to the secret. Hmm. Ooh, hello. Secrets! So that's number two, but... Check out if we can't find secret number three to wrap up the level. Let's have a quick sniff around the place. Uh, nothing over there. Nothing over there. Nothing there. Hmm. Nothing around here. I'm going to quick look around here just to see if we can't find the final secret dead quick. 
don't think we're going to be able to find it. Hmm. No, I don't think we're going to find it today. Oh well, I think that will do. We'll close out the level with that. Just maybe look outside. Nope. Alright. <laughs> okay, it's kind of... It's a weird little thing there. It's like a hole in the stairs. Okay. So that was the third level, Portals. That was an alright level. I like the, I like, I'm starting to warm to this idea that this is going to be a sort of a puzzly themed. And now that, I look, now that I think about it, I'm just looking at the text file here. He actually says in his own text file. So while the first maps may be noobish and simple, the later ones get better and better as you progress. I've also just realized that the DEH patch which he says is obligatory, as I mentioned earlier, grants a new storyline and two new enemies. So he's apparently made two custom enemies just for this wad. So let's just see what's up for next time. So I'm going to stop here. I think three levels will do. The Red River. Alright. Fair enough. So that was the first three levels of 100th Wave by Cypec2. Um, kind of a sort of very simplistic start, but I think there's some interesting uh, sort of potential here, I think. Considering it's a first megawatt, it's not bad in any way, it's just kind of very easy right now. But let me know what you think in the comments, people watching this. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's going to get better? Trickier? Harder? What kind of puzzles do you think that Cypex going to throw at us? What new enemies may we be expected to see with the DH patch? And I think depending on how short the levels are, I might start I might stick with doing two or three levels per video instead of just one per part. Maybe changing it over as I get to longer levels that require more time, but I'll just see how things go. So maybe next time I'll do two levels, or maybe just this one, depending on how difficult it is and how I feel at the time. Other than that, I will catch you all next time for map number 4 of 100th Wave. I hope you have enjoyed, and catch you next time.